The Jamaican government is taking a strong stance against human trafficking. An important step is the Trafficking in Persons Prevention, Suppression and Punishment Amendment Act 2021. Minister of National Security Dr. Horace Chang brought the changes to Parliament on Tuesday. Minister of National Security Dr. Horace Chang describes human trafficking as a cowardly, despicable but lucrative crime that targets the most vulnerable, women and children. Globally, trafficking in persons generates approximately $150 billion in profits each year and is viewed as the third most lucrative criminal activity globally. Dr. Chang says the United Nations has reported an increase in incidents of human trafficking since the start of the pandemic. The share of children among detected trafficking victims has tripled, while the share of boys has increased five times in the past 15 years. Given the protracted impact of COVID-19, a growing number of people are experiencing economic and social vulnerabilities that has increased their risk of falling prey to human traffickers. The original anti-human trafficking legislation was passed in 2007, and according to the security minister, these proposed amendments will strengthen those statutes already established. The amendment we proposed in the Trafficking in Persons Tra Prevention, Suppression and Punishment Act 2021 are based on the need to create a stronger anti-human trafficking regime that discourages, disincentives and promulgates deterrence of the offenders and the recidivists. Given the global and lucrative nature of human trafficking and its eminent threat to our people, the government has taken the decision to proceed with amendments to the Act to remove the option of fines as a penalty for certain offences that are egregious in nature. Additionally, the Amendment Act creates a provision that empowers the Minister by order subject to affirmative resolution to make amendments to monetary penalties in the Act. Opposition leader Mark Golding says he supports the amendments in theory, but there is a concern. 15 is to do with uh, obstructing a law officer in their duties under the Act. It's not a trafficking offence, and so that, is, that fine is not being removed. That fine is just being increased. But these trafficking offences are, are where there is now going to be an inconsistency. So if, if you have a trafficking organization that is incorporated, the principles involved can hide behind that corporate veil so as to potentially be fined rather than suffer the penalties of imprisonment that would apply were they not incorporated. And I'm not, sure, that doesn't, I'm not understanding the logic of that. And so I would just ask the minister to consider adding section 5.1 to the, so to clause 2, um, so that it would say section 4 of the principal act is amended in subsections 6, 7, 8, and 8A, comma, and section 5 is amended in subsection 1 by deleting the words listed in the, in the clause. And that would align the treatment of trafficking offenses, whether you are acting as a criminal, a criminal individual or you are an individual operating a criminal body corporate. In light of the recommendation, the debate was suspended until the next sitting of the lower house. For the News on PBCJ, I'm Simone Absalom-Gale.